Hey, well, fact today, February 16th, and it's Josiah Edwards. And I'm Sienna Tranga, and we're here at the Distance Learning Announcements. Hey, Sienna, what's the weather looking like for the week? This week, El Grove will reach a low of 61 on Friday and a high of 70 the following Monday. It's also said to rain on Friday, but we'll see if that pans out. Recently, there was an interview with Jim Cooper. Let's see what he had to say. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, and in honor of Black History Month, I decided to interview Assemblyman Jim Cooper, who has been an El Grove resident, former mayor of El Grove, and former captain with the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department. Well, February is Black History Month. I celebrate my whole life and just different things. Obviously, working in the legislature for the Sheriff's Department and for the city of Elk Grove over the years, we celebrate it in a number of ways. So in the legislature, we honor individuals in our districts that have helped um, you know, recognize Black History Month. They've done notable things. So that's one of the things we do. I don't consider myself a role model. I just, you know, I do what's important to me and I want to help make things differently. Um, for you CO students, CO, one of the top 400 high schools in California, which is a great thing, a great school. And just really, you can be anything you want, you can do anything you want, and just set your, set your mind to it. Um, school's not equal for everybody. Some folks get it real easy. Some folks have to work hard at it. And that's kind of like life, so don't complain about it. Just do your best effort and go forward. I'm proud of everything I've done, and, and the big thing, is, yeah, it's, I, I had great parents that, that gave me a good foundation, and I really worked for and with good people that encouraged me along the way, along the way and helped me, so that's important. So I, I'm proud of my career uh, in the Sheriff's Department as a, as a mayor and council member, and now as a state assembly member. But along the way, people helped me to get where I was. I didn't do it by myself, so thank, I thank my parents, number one, and just friends and people I worked with. So it's kind of a combination of community that helped me get here, so no one ever does it alone. You just really work hard and grind, because once you leave high school, guess what? They don't call the house and say, hey, mom and dad, John didn't go to school today. No one cares. So if you don't show up for work and get fired, if you don't show up for college, they drop you. So it's really up to you to go out. And it's not where you start at, it's where you finish at. So maybe school was kind of rocky sometimes, but you can still finish strong, so that's so important. And as you know, if you have a college degree, you're going to make a million dollars more in your lifetime than someone without a college degree. So college is not the end all, the be all, but it definitely helps with that. And you know, when you're hiring people, you want someone that's, be that's a uh, better qualified person. So once again, CO, uh, top, one of the top 400 high schools in California. Um, Elk Grove has three. It's a great school. High school is so important. It's your foundation. And now, once you graduate in May, just think it's time to go to work and go to school for the rest of your life. So it's really important. And uh, enjoy yourselves and work hard. It's, it's tough. Life's not fair. Don't complain about it. Just get those things done. So I'm excited for you. Uh, go forward and, and have a good time. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan. This Friday from 3.30 to 5.30, the BSU is hosting Jeopardy! Test your knowledge about black history and pop culture. Here's the Zoom information. Hey, well, Pack, it's Isaiah Edwards. And I'm Yash Sharma. And we're here to tell you more about Black History Month. Now that the nation has sworn in a new African-American vice president, what does this mean for America and black excellence? America hasn't always been the best at showing black excellence, but now that we have an African-American as the vice president, how will this spark hope for black excellency in the future? Over the years, there have been so many African-American symbols like Harriet Tubman, Serena Williams, and of course, Martin Luther King Jr. And with the addition of the African-American vice president, Black excellency has only just begun because Black idols will bring hope and influence and change to America. To think that African-Americans were just segregated in 1964 and now we have an African-American that is in power is amazing to think about. African-Americans have come a long way. And again, this is only the beginning of what's to come for African-Americans in the U.S. Iconic African-American figures such as Martin Luther King Jr. have influenced the future to bring about change. Dr. King peacefully protested to promote equal rights, not just for African-Americans, but for all races. Sosner Truth is also a prime example of influencing the world, not only for Black excellency, but for speaking out for women's rights as well in 1851, and is known for one of the most famous speeches for women's rights in history. Quote, ain't I a woman?
Although there are many examples of black idols who influence the present, as long as there continue to be more idols that rise up, black excellency will remain strong and continue to change America. And that's all we have for your Black History Month news for this week, Wolfpack. Back to you, anchors. The Rotary Club student competition deadline is March 3rd. More information will be posted in the student newsletter. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. And remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a terrific Tuesday, Wolfpack.